Here's another deep dive, and this time we're taking a closer look at a front flip. Uh, this young lady is up at the Germantown pool, and she has, uh, let's imagine anyway, that she has just stepped out of her hurdle, and she is dropping down into the end of the board for a front flip tuck. So, a couple of things that we want to look for. Number one, we like the fact that her arms are still up, relatively speaking, with her feet together, but boy, we sure would like a nice straight line here from her fingertips to her toes as she steps out. Unfortunately, what we see is that angle there, which can be troublesome. Uh, certainly doesn't leave us with a nice pretty step out line and is going to cause some mechanical problems, some balance problems, but uh, we'll get to that in just a second. So. Here we are. She's dropping down out of her hurdle. Now we know uh, from previous discussions that we want those arms to have circled all the way back around and passing her hips and thighs at the moment that she makes contact with the end of the diving board. Let's take a look at where her arms really are at the moment that she contacts the board. Here comes contact right now. And there are her arms back behind her. So we've got arms at this angle right now on contact. That's going to put her just a little less than a quarter uh, arm circle behind. Now, the next question is where are her arms when the board is all the way down at its maximum bend? Now this is a young lady who doesn't weigh very much so she's not going to push the board down very far. Um, because she's not going to push the board down very far she is not going to have a lot of time to get those arms back up. So I think you're seeing where we're going here. This is going to come up short. There's the board. Stops right there. That's as far down as the board goes. So now we've got, we were about a quarter behind. Now we are definitely a quarter behind. Now she's a smart girl. She knows what she's uh, got to do. She wants to do a front flip, right? So you'll notice now that her body alignment is, uh, is angled forward. So she's going to drive some somersault. She's going to derive some somersaulting action from that lean, right? Uh, which is a little bit of a cheat, right? But you do notice that you'll spin faster if you're leaning forward. She's certainly not going to spin by throwing uh, at this rate because her arms are so far behind. Now, here she goes. Now, remember that she's got to create spin while she's pushing against the board by throwing forward while she pushes off and by golly, she's going to have a hard time with that because her arms are still coming up when that board's coming up. So how does she do it? Notice what she's doing with her upper body right now and that lean. She's using her trunk from here to here as her throwing arm. She went from there and now she's there to there, right? So she's actually using a little bit of upper body throw um, but certainly not the optimum where you would want that, uh, the arms to be leading that skill, uh, the arms to be leading that throw. So she is well behind. She's also using a little bit of chin movement, a little bit of head movement there as well to make up for it. So she's behind in the arm pattern, and then that causes her, look at where her eyes are as her toes leave the board. She looks like she's looking straight down there. We sure would like to see her eyes fixed further out so that we can really watch arms first on the throw. But that's a pretty late throw there. This is a very common error. Uh, and you'll find that a lot of divers, if they're reasonably skilled divers, they've learned to compensate for a late arm pattern by shifting their body weight forward and bending over. The problem is that you have significantly shortened that lever arm. Now your lever for throwing the somersault is from there to there. Instead of using the arms as well, right? You want the arms involved so you have a longer lever arm so that you can create more uh, angular momentum. So that's where that becomes troublesome. 
So keep an eye on arm timing, and we're going to watch for, again, those landmark moments, the moment that they land, feet land on the board, where are their arms? The moment that the board is all the way bottomed out, where are their arms? And then what is moving first? Are they throwing with their hands first, with their forehead first, or their upper body first? We would like for their throw to come from the top of the body down through the chain. So they would go hands and then head and then shoulders and trunk in that order. Right now, that's an out-of-order throw. All right? So let's keep an eye out for those, uh, those good landmarks. Get that arm timing right so that the somersaulting action is uh, being developed in the right way. All right, we'll see you at the pool.